Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Sandra Jones. This week we look ahead to a milestone in anticipation of a record-breaking stay in space and science and research investigations kept the crew busy. NASA astronaut Frank Rubio is in the midst of a record-setting long-duration mission aboard the International Space Station. In fact, on July 18th, Rubio will spend his 300th day in space aboard the space station. When Rubio returns to Earth on September 27th, he will have spent a total of 371 days in space. This shatters the previous record for longest single space flight by a U.S. astronaut by 16 days, currently held by NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. Long-duration space flights such as these enable further studies into the effects of microgravity and spaceflight on the human body. One such investigation involves exercise requirements for crew members. On Thursday, NASA astronaut Steve Bowen performed the Zero-T2 experiment, which examines the effects on bone, muscle, and aerobic health and performance when crew members do not exercise on a treadmill during flights. These results could help determine whether other exercise regimes are adequate to maintain physical health on future missions. Currently, the crew on board the International Space Station exercises for about two hours per day on special space workout equipment, including a stationary bike, weight lifting machine and treadmill. We have a question this week from Darren on Twitter, who wants to know if we will ever live on a different planet. Thanks so much for your question, Darren. The International Space Station, which has been continuously occupied since the year 2000, is a stepping stone and proving ground for long-duration human spaceflight. Space flights such as Rubio's record-breaking one help us learn critical lessons in pursuit of our journey further out into the cosmos. As NASA prepares to send humans back to the moon and on to Mars, the lessons and insights we gleaned from Space Station will help light that path. As always, we invite you to send us your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.